you miss me? Because I missed you. The TikTok girlies will catch that one, okay? <laughs>
<laughs> this book examines the intricate details of her life, proving Romans 8, 28 to be true. Indeed, all things are working together for good. So that is this. There are 26 chapters, a foreword by my dad, um, an introduction, words of encouragement from the author, me. <laughs> and then the acknowledgments. If you were to ask me what my favorite part of the book is, it's the acknowledgments because without God, without my people, without my community, my village, my friends, my family, my coworkers, like everyone that has played a part or played a role in my life in some form or fashion from when I was itty bitty till now, like whether you're in my life still or you aren't, like I'm thankful right because they helped me grow and some people have literally like walked side by side with me through this on the days that I wanted to quit on the days that I didn't want to do it on the days that I was ready to give up now I'm about to cry <laughs> I literally had two friends holding me accountable in July making sure that I like, why are you crying? Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> uh. Okay, I got my tissue. <laughs> are we good? Are we good? <laughs> I'm not trying to get back on YouTube crying. It's not what we're here for. Anyways. Uh, I had two friends hold me accountable in July. They were my alarm clocks. Like, hey Lex, are you up? I was like, make sure, cause y'all know, my people that know me, my friends, my family, I like to sleep, okay? If I do not have to be up early on my own, I will not be, okay? Like, work, events, all the things. I'll wake up, set my alarms, get up, be there on time, whatever. But if I can sleep in, maybe I'm gonna sleep in. So, they would text me or call me and make sure that I was like awake so that I could get my work done and just really lock in. So shout out to Naraya, shout out to Michaela for calling me and making sure that I was doing what I needed to be doing because they really held it down. Shout out to Tatiana because I literally, when it came to crunch time, I stayed at Hawkins Hotel and she didn't bother me, I didn't bother her. And I locked myself in the room and got work done. So that was just like this past month. Like, no, that wasn't this past month. We're in August. Today is August, August 27th, 7.09 p.m. It is Sunday, but that was July. So I'm very, very thankful for them. I'm thankful for my friends who have prayed over me in some of my darkest moments. The moments, not just my friends, like my parents. Like my mama, that's my dog. That is my girl, okay? I thank God for my mama. I thank God that I have a praying mama. I thank God that I have a mama that will lay hands and anoint you with oil, okay? And starts praying in tongues over you and over my life. I'm thankful for my, you know, I'm really thankful for everyone, okay? <laughs> If I get into this, I'll start leaving people out, and I don't want to do that. But I think a lot of people, okay? If you get the book, you just go on to the back. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go on to the back and read the acknowledgments. Now, the thing about my book, right? So, each chapter is actually a song title. So, the song was either a song that I was singing to or playing during that time period of life that I was in, or it's just a song that I felt related with what I was talking about. If I could go back though and change a song, I would change, I think it's chapter two. It was Mean by Taylor Swift. I'm talking about me being bully. And I think Taylor Swift is talking about her ex-boyfriends. And that's not the case with me. When this vision was very new, very fresh, I was like, and the thought of songs trying to Time the chapters with songs came to mind. That was one of the very first songs. I never went back and changed it. But if I could change it, I would change it to Moving Forward by Israel Houghton because 
chapter two is actually my testimony from my Debs and Bows program that uh, I had to give my senior year of high school. And that was a song that we sang at the end of our ceremony. So yeah. And that was a song that was sang, surprisingly enough, at the end of church today. I said, hmm, too late for me to change it though. <laughs> the book is done. <laughs> um, now, I know some authors have like expanded versions or they will like go back and revise their book. So like maybe in a year or two or whatever, I don't know, we'll see. Like if I create like an expanded version or a revised version, I can make some edits, maybe add a couple chapters. I don't know. We're gonna, I don't know. But right now, we're going to bask in this being done. This book is literally for anyone who may want to know Christ more or like, why is Lexi so crazy about Jesus? Like, what has he done for you that you think that I should give him a chance, right? Or it's for the Christian that's like, you know what? I'm tired of living life according to the way the Bible tells us to live. I don't really see, I don't really get the point of it. Like, I kind of want to just do my own thing. It's for that person, too. It's for the person that's tired of doing the right thing or doing what they feel that they know the best to do. It's a journey through life, through my lens, right? Through my trials, through my testimonies, through the things that I've, like, overcome, being bullied, navigating, living in the world, like having one foot in the world and like having one foot in the church, you know, like straddling the fence, living lukewarm and having to make a decision. Like, am I going to be black or am I going to be white? Like, I can't be in the middle. I can't. There's no gray. That's that's another chapter. <laughs> so I talk about that. I talk about navigating friendships, navigating relationships. I talk about being single because your girl's been single. When I started my YouTube channel, The status has not changed, okay? Um, so we're still talking about being single. One day, maybe, I will have a man. Jesus said I was a wife. So when I get a man, we'll be back. We just not back with one yet, okay? <laughs> what else? I think people have asked me, how does it feel to be an author? And to be honest, I don't know. Because I, I don't think it's fully hit me yet I'll have moments here and there like when I like think of someone that's like shot me a text message of how it encouraged them like my cousin's dad was the first person to finish reading the book he read it in like four days and sent me the sweetest text message that made me cry because it just showed me that the words that God gave me weren't just for my generation that it's reaching generations that came before me it's reaching grown folks. It's reaching men. Like, it's not just for my homegirls. It's not just for the people that are my age. I pray that it blesses those that are younger than me so that when they get to a point in life where I've been, that they know, like, okay, I've heard about this before. And you have more insight and more wisdom on what kind of decisions you want to make on biblical principles. I, I really hope that this book touches the hearts and lives of so many people. I pray that God does a work in those who read it. I pray that it grasps the heart that, not it, but that God grasps, grasp, grasp, that God grasps. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That God grasps the hearts of his people or recaptures the hearts of his people that may have drifted away, or he captures new ones, right? I know what it's like to be the prodigal child. Like, I, I felt like I had a year that was my prodigal year, and I talk about that in this book. And if you're familiar with the story of the prodigal son, if you're not, I touch on it a little bit in here, but you're going to have to read the story on your own, okay? The Bible app is free. <laughs> But I just, I just really hope that this blesses people. This book, like, I feel like people are going to be in my business because I'm telling you my life, right? I did my best to be transparent, to be open, to be vulnerable. 
so that people could kind of like get a closer look in knowing that we might have something in common to be honest my struggles um my internal battles I just truly, truly hope that people know Jesus, that lives and souls are saved, and we make heaven crowded, okay? I, that's really all I want. For people to know Jesus that don't know Jesus, for those that do know him, to continue walking in the faith, it's not easy. It's absolutely not easy. And I don't think that's talked about enough. And I talk about it. I talk about it. Because, you know, they say go all in with Christ. But when we go all in, we're now in a fight, right? The devil is not happy for us to be advancing the kingdom of God. And he will do anything that he can in his power to try and stop us, to try and get us off track, to try and get us stuck in cycles, to try and get us to go back to the things that we were brought out of. And we have to fight. We have to fight with the armor of God. Um, using our weapons, the sword of the spirit, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, um, the helmet of salvation, the shoes of peace. And we have to stay rooted in those things. I think that's everything. I also had a mini, okay, so here's the thing. Let me just, I wasn't going to celebrate, right? I think a part of me is kind of, kind of felt like, I took too long to do this, so why should I celebrate? But I don't think God has looked at me like that. Like, you've taken too long. Like, I think he's probably rejoicing that I finished. I completed it. Like, he completed the work that he started within me. Like he says, and I believe it's Philippians 1, 6. But I wasn't going to celebrate. I was just going to have some of my girls over, and we were going to make word teas. <laughs> I ironed this on y'all, and for the first time, for this time in my first time, it don't look that bad. But I will say, I was just gonna have a word tea party with my girls, and I was gonna sign their books because they wanted me to sign them, and I was like, y'all are being so extra. And then I told my mom, and she was like, well, before I told my mom, I was like, well, Lexi, it'd be kind of shady if you didn't tell your guy friend right that's kind of rude so then I let them in on it and then my mom was like well like see if that you're celebrating you should there's some adults you should probably tell because there's a lot of people that are really proud of you so I hit up a couple of family members and then she told like her sister so I honestly thought there was gonna be some more people coming in from out of town but not too many people came from out of town which that's fine but yeah so we celebrated. I had like an actual book signing at the house. I gave a little speech, had some friends say some words. I got some content. My friends really held it down for me because I can't get the content and be like a hostess with the mostest or the person of the hour at the same time. That's very hard to do. So I'm very thankful for my girls that know what they're doing when it comes to camera work. So I'm going to like put a little thing together and y'all get to see that. But not that means I'm gonna have two videos. Okay, we're on a roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was yesterday. I got the sweetest gift. And then I had my friends write me little notes. And we put them in a jar, so I need to read those. And what else? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I took pictures of them and some glasses for marketing materials. I made some TikToks today for marketing materials this week. We finna see what Jesus does. He finna make it do what he do. Oh, I hear the garage. That means my parents are home. And I'm almost done with my video. Period. <laughs> I just, I've been so productive today. I love this. I will say, I think we're gonna close with this. I think I've said everything I needed to say in regards to my book. No, I didn't. I'll just make another video. I have a couple of engagements I do believe coming up. I've been asked by two different people for interviews. So a potential podcast interview, a potential radio interview, and then I have a webinar that I'm doing with one of my friend's moms. She's a life coach, so that's three things that should be upcoming soon. On top of that, 
I have a couple more signings, I think. There's like two different women that want to have me do things. So yeah, we're just getting started. I think that's everything, y'all. I forgot what I was saying earlier. Um. Y'all. Okay, so I finally remembered what I was going to tell y'all earlier that I forgot. So two years ago, my bestest gal pal, Kel, my middle school best friend, sent me a text message in 2021 when I was like not in the best of spirits. And she was like, friend, I had a dream and God just wants you to know that we're going to be celebrating you soon and all these other like really encouraging things and like basically what she saw. Y'all, that was two years ago, right? So my party or my book signing was Saturday. Yes, my book signing was Saturday. Friday, Friday night, I think it was. I like, it came to memory a little bit. Like the phrase like, you'll be celebrated soon came back to mind. And then when I went to pick up the Buntinis before the party, I started thinking about that again. And I was like, I wonder if like Kel's dream from two years ago that she had told me about like came back to mind, like God brought it back to my memory. Excuse me, and I was like, I wonder if this is what she was talking about, but like she said that she saw us like in like a room. And so I'm thinking like a restaurant. I was like, well, we're gonna be at the house, so I don't know. Why when Kel got there, she was like, friend, remember my dream? And we both go, you're gonna be celebrated soon. And we were like, we just started screaming because we were like, ah, like, oh my gosh, like, so like God had reminded me and then he brought it back to her memory and she like went back to look at her notes and we were just like <laughs> um and then my mom was wearing the color that she saw her in like it was just like a whole thing so I'm just very thankful to have one prophetic friends two friends that hear from God I just am so very thankful to have the people in my corner that I have in my corner uh, for that crazy God moment that he reminded both of us and for us to have that like you got out of you know like that spider-man picture when you're like both pointing at each other that's kind of like what was going on so yeah I'm, I think I'm starting to get excited like I don't know what God is going to do with this book big things start small and I gave him my small so we gonna see how God makes it big okay he's been saying big for some years now so Ain't no telling. <laughs> Cute Pastor Mike Jr. Okay? Period. This was just a crazy faith seed five years ago. 2023? Yeah, five years ago. Five. Remember grace. Thank God for his grace. But this was a crazy faith seed five years ago was on my crazy faith card i have prayed over this so many times i have fasted and prayed and cried and fasted and prayed and cried <laughs> i have missed birthday trips birthday dinners i have shut myself out from the world to just lock in and write and write and write some more and then you count on your basic count on that little gift yeah no I'm trying to help you well she always wants to sit in the room and write she don't ever want to come out with us they don't know that God in those moments are about to give you the idea that's gonna be able to change the world well why would whole book whole book like I have a book that sits on my bookshelf with some of my favorite authors that's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely insane. <laughs> but although I have a book under my belt, although I now have author as a title or something that goes under my name, I'm still Lexi. I will always be Lexi and I will continue to remain true to who I am and to who Christ has made me to be. Yeah. Go get your book, guys. <laughs> Go get your book. Go get your book. Go get your book. Right now, my book is only available in paperback version. 
I plan on making it available in other versions. I'm working. My goal is to get an audible version out as soon as possible because I know some people don't like to read, they rather listen. So I'm going to look into doing that and hopefully have it out before September ends. Prayerfully, fingers crossed, we'll see. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're going to we're gonna try and figure it out. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So, my table of contents, all of my books, all of my chapters, not all of my books, all of my chapters are a song title. And just like an album, some songs flow into the next song, but some songs stand alone. So, if you wanted to read this book in order, you could do that. If you wanted to read it out of order, you could do that too. Because some chapters go together and some stand by themselves. So, that's been a thing. And so far, everybody that's read it has said it's been an easy read and it's really good. So, you know, that's good news. Um, you can purchase your book on Amazon.com, not how but who, by Lexi Wesley, and get your copy. But get your books, guys. Get your books. Get your book. Let me know what you think. If you like it, I hope you love it. If you don't like it, just keep that to yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone for supporting me. Um, if you've sent a prayer, if you sent a donation, if you purchased a book, if you have just done life with me in any form of sort of fashion, in any form or fashion, in any form or fashion, yeah. <laughs> I, I've gone through a lot, I've overcome a lot, and I did my best to be vulnerable and just share what God placed on my heart. Um, so I, I, I pray that people are truly blessed by the words that God gave me. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for tuning back in and sticking with me for this long, because I'm pretty sure this video is going to be kind of lengthy. It's my first one back in a long time. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with all of your family and friends. As always, this is just the beginning. It's your girl, Lexi Live. Peace out, eight town down. You know, or whatever it is that Usher says. What is that? What have I got? Looks like it's paper. Is that the one I was crying right now? Okay. Well, we're done. <laughs>